The PGM-11 Redstone was the first large American ballistic missile. A short-range ballistic missile SRBM, it was in active service with the United States Army in West Germany from June 1958 to June 1964 as part of NATO's Cold War defense of Western Europe. It was the first U.S. missile to carry a live nuclear warhead, in the 1958 Pacific Ocean weapons test, hardtack teak. Chief Engineer Wernher von Braun personally witnessed this historic launch and detonation. Redstone was a direct descendant of the German V 2 rocket, developed by a team of predominantly German rocket engineers brought to the United States after World War II as part of Operation Paperclip. The design used an upgraded engine from Rocketdyne that allowed the missile to carry the W-39 warhead which weighed 6,900 pounds with its re-entry vehicle to a range of about 175 miles Redstone's prime contractor was the Chrysler Corporation. A major effort to improve Redstone's reliability produced one of the most reliable rockets of the era. Dubbed the Army's workhorse, it spawned an entire rocket family which had an excellent launch record and holds a number of firsts in the U.S. space program, notably launching the first U.S. astronaut. It was retired by the Army in 1964 and replaced by the solid-fueled MGM-31 Pershing. Surplus missiles were widely used for test missions and space launches, including the first U.S. man in space, and in 1967 the launch of Australia's first satellite. History A product of the Army Ballistic Missile Agency at Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama under the leadership of Wernher von Braun, Redstone was designed as a surface-to-surface -surface missile for the U.S. Army. It was named for the arsenal on 8 April 1952, which traced its name to the region's red rocks and soil. Chrysler was awarded the prime production contract and began missile and support equipment production in 1952 at the newly renamed Michigan Ordnance Missile Plant in Warren, Michigan. The Navy-owned facility was previously known as the Naval Industrial Reserve Aircraft Plant used for jet engine production. Following the cancellation of a planned jet engine program, the facility was made available to the Chrysler Corporation for missile production. Rocketdyne Division of North American Aviation Company provided the rocket engines, Ford Instrument Company, Division of Sperry Rand Corporation, produced the guidance and control systems, and Reynolds Metals Company fabricated fuselage assemblies as subcontractors to Chrysler. The first Redstone lifted off from LC-4A at Cape Canaveral on 20 August 1953. It flew for 1 minute and 20 seconds before suffering an engine failure and falling into the sea. Following this partial success, the second test was conducted on 27 January 1954, this time without a hitch as the missile flew 55 miles. After these first two prototypes were flown, an improved engine was introduced to reduce problems with LOX turbopump cavitation. The third Redstone flight on 5 May was a total loss as the engine cut off one second after launch, causing the rocket to fall back on the pad and explode. After this incident, Major General Holger Toftoy pressured Wernher von Braun for the cause of the failure. The latter replied that he had no idea, but they would review telemetry and other data to find out. Toftoy persisted, asking, Wernher, why did the rocket explode? An exasperated von Braun said, It exploded because the damn son of a bitch blew up. Von Braun pressured the ABMA team to improve reliability and workmanship standards, allegedly remarking that, 
missile reliability will require that the target area is more dangerous than the launch area. Subsequent test fights went better and the Army declared Redstone operational in mid-1955. Testing was moved from LC-4 to the bigger LC-5 and LC-6. In 1955, the Jupiter-C rocket not to be confused with the later, unrelated Jupiter IRBM was developed as an enhanced Redstone for atmospheric and reentry vehicle tests. It had elongated propellant tanks for increased burn time and a new engine that burned a fuel mixture known as hydine and under the name of the Jupiter C, Juno 1 was used for the first successful U.S. space launch of the Explorer 1 satellite in 1958. The Mercury Redstone launch vehicle was a derivation of the Redstone with a fuel tank increased in length by 6 feet meters and was used on 5 May 1961 to launch Alan Shepard on his sub-orbital flight to become the second person and first American in space. It retained the Jupiter C's longer propellant tanks, but went back to using ethyl alcohol, water for propellant instead of hydine. The Redstone program proved to be a bone of contention between the Army and Air Force due to their different ideas of nuclear warfare. The Army favored using small warheads on mobile missiles as tactical battlefield weapons while the Air Force, which was responsible for the ICBM program, wanted large cross-continental missiles that could strike Soviet targets and rapidly cripple the USSR's infrastructure and ability to wage war. With the arrival of newer solid-fueled missiles that could be stored and not require fueling before launch, Redstone was rendered obsolete and production ended in 1961. The 40th Artillery Group was deactivated in February 1964 and 46th Artillery Group was deactivated in June 1964, as Redstone missiles were replaced by the Pershing missile in the U.S. Army arsenal. All Redstone missiles and equipment deployed to Europe were returned to the United States by the third quarter of 1964. In October 1964, the Redstone missile was ceremonially retired from active service at Redstone Arsenal. From 1966 to 1967, a series of surplus modified Redstones called Spartas were launched from Woomera, South Australia as part of a joint US-United Kingdom-Australian research program aimed at understanding re-entry phenomena. These Redstones had two solid fuel upper stages added. The U.S. donated a spare Sparta for Australia's first satellite launch, WRESAT, in November 1967. Description Redstone was capable of flights from 57.5 miles (92.5 kilometers) to 201 miles (323 kilometers). It consisted of a thrust unit for powered flight and a missile body for overall missile control and payload delivery on target. During powered flight, Redstone burned a fuel mixture of 25% water 75% ethyl alcohol with liquid oxygen used as the oxidizer. Later Redstones used hydine, 60% unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine and 40% diethylenetriamine as the fuel. The missile body consisted of an aft unit containing the instrument compartment, and the warhead unit containing the payload compartment and the radar altimeter fuse. The missile body was separated from the thrust unit 20 to 30 seconds after the termination of powered flight, as determined by the preset range to target. The body continued on a controlled ballistic trajectory to the target impact point. The thrust unit continued on its own uncontrolled ballistic trajectory, impacting short of the designated target. 
The nuclear armed Redstone carried the W 39, either a Mk 39Y 1 Mod 1 or Mk 39Y 2 Mod 1, warhead with a yield of 3.8 megatons. Topic: Operators. United States. United States Army 40th Field Artillery Group 1958 to 1961 West Germany 1st Battalion 333rd Artillery Regiment 46th Field Artillery Group 1959 to 1961 West Germany 2nd Battalion 333rd Artillery Regiment 209th Field Artillery Group, Fort Sill, Oklahoma 4th BN, 333rd Artillery Regiment <laughs> Surviving examples Displayed as PGM-11 National Air and Space Museum at the Udvar Hazy Center, Washington, D.C. Warren, New Hampshire U.S. Space and Rocket Center, Huntsville, Alabama Battleship Memorial Park, Mobile, Alabama Air Force Space and Missile Museum, Cape Canaveral, Florida Kansas Cosmosphere, Hutchinson, Kansas payload and aft unit only National Museum of Nuclear Science and History, Albuquerque, New Mexico White Sands Missile Range Museum, White Sands, New Mexico Evergreen Aviation Museum, McMinnville, Oregon Marshall Space Flight Center, Huntsville, Alabama U.S. Army Field Artillery Museum, Fort Sill, Oklahoma Displayed as Jupiter C U.S. Space and Rocket Center, Huntsville, Alabama Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, Merritt Island, Florida Marshall Space Flight Center, Huntsville, Alabama Petal, Mississippi formerly at John C. Stennis Space Center's Stenosphere, now Infinity Science Center, not publicly visible Displayed as a Mercury Redstone launch vehicle Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, Merritt Island, Florida One in the Rocket Garden, one near the Badging Office, and one at Launch Complex 5 Air Zoo, Kalamazoo, Michigan in storage Kansas Cosmosphere, Hutchinson, Kansas Museum of Life Plus Science, Durham, North Carolina Parque de las Chancias Luis A. Ferre at Bayamon, Puerto Rico Space Center Houston, Houston, Texas Mercury Redstone Launch Vehicles U.S. Space and Rocket Center, Huntsville, Alabama United States Astronaut Hall of Fame, Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex Gallery <laughs>